and welcome back to my channel. So I'm kind of coming to you from a little bit of a new location. Um, I'm in my bedroom and I'm so sorry if it's a little shaky. I have my tripod on my little lap desk, but instead of having it open up, I kind of just have it here tucked in. So like the legs tucked in and everything. Um, so if it's shaky, I'm so sorry guys. It's just the only way that I can get this done. Um, baby is napping and you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and move this down to the, uh, to the floor. Give me a second. All right. So there we go. Lighting is still good. Less shaky because it's a little bit of a harder surface instead of the bed. It's just kind of shake your own. All right. So we are here to plan out what the week will look like for the 10th through the 16th, which is tomorrow through next Sunday. Um, so again, I've already prepped out the day covers here and I've numbered the page as well. This is just a little note that I need to make for myself as a task for the day. Um, so here are some things that I have. I have my scripts that I'm going to be using for my tutoring and my conferences. Uh, conference stickers are from Style Planner and these tutoring ones are from Anna's Plans. These are the washi tapes I am thinking about using. Top one is from Simply Gilded. The bottom one came from a two pack from Hobby Lobby. Um, I was using my, um, shoot, it's a Sarasa pen, but it had the uh, Pilot ink in it and I think it was a 0.5. I'm going to be going back to my 0.3 Klenna um, just because I loved how like how thick it was but then at times it got too thick so I'm going to show you guys what the daily look like and I'll show you what I mean by the fact that it looks really dark um and just really thick as it is so I'm going to go back to um that Klenna and just kind of go back to that very subtle kind of vibe um I'm going to be using some boxes and deco pieces from these two Agenda 52 um sticker books from Hobby Lobby. I have a bunch of different stickers that are usually just kind of hanging on here for deco. Um, if I need anything from my reusable sticker book I have here, usually I won't. I kind of just have everything with me just in case. And then obviously my faves from Planner Monkey Co. if I need to throw anything else in here as well. So first off, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I knew I was missing something. I have to find my um, my gray pen so I can number this. So give me one second. All right, so I went ahead and I filled in the numbers. So they go from seven in the morning to seven at night. That's pretty much as far as I can get them and I usually don't have that much going on at night um as you can see like I maybe just highlight some things that I've done that night but other than that it's not really a big deal um and then I've also time blocked out my work schedules so I was trying to find a sticker that I had used last week for my work but for some reason I now can't find them which I will find them eventually, just can't find them now. So I'm kind of trying to figure out if I have anything and I kind of don't want to mix and match them. So I'm trying to find five of the same or at least five of the same or the similar. So I'm going to go through my little um, minis and sampler stash just real quick. Um, but if you have been following me for a while. You know that I pretty much have been a nostalgy, regardless of the size, I've been a nostalgy, right? Lately, I have been seeing the, the book bound books that are already dated or at least set up. Um, I have been really loving how Theory of Lauren has her common planner. So that's definitely going to be an option for next year if she comes out with another one, if Sterling Inc. comes out with another set. I've also noticed that, um, oh my god, Hannah from Sweet Freckled Plans is also coming out with a B6 size of her weekly diary, which again, 
that one's undated but could definitely definitely make that one work the only thing is it doesn't have this timed weekly um that i've been trying out it has what i'm usually used to which is a hobonichi style um it's a hobonichi style crap do i only have one of these left Ugh. uh weekly setup so it has like the sidebar and then you know it has a whole other page for like trackers and other notes anything that would need to be put in i'm so upset that i don't have any kind of work stickers because i don't feel like writing work but i think i'm gonna have to and i think i'm just gonna have to bite the bullet with it and just let it happen so now do i want to pick out um anyways so i'm kind of stuck between getting one of those to try out for next year so yeah I think that'll be a nice like kind of switch of things um so let's see i think i'll go ahead and use my tombow um brush pen and i'm just gonna write it out normal no script nothing just because it will not come out amazing like everyone else's does. Mine just comes out normal. And I don't know why I decided to put that one in an uppercase and now I feel like I'm gonna do the rest. <sighs> okay, again, sorry about the shakiness of the camera. Um, I may go in with my Combo um, dual brush just to give it a little bit of contrast. I've been doing that kind of lately here you see in my, I kind of just took that and kind of colored it in a little bit, but I'm gonna give it like a little bit to settle. Anywho, um, so let's take a look at Monday. So Monday I have two tutoring sessions, one at 2.05 and then another one at 305. So I got myself a busy day on Monday. So I got those to put down. And then I'm going to give myself like a little to do list of certain things I need to do during the week. Um, during kind of work hours in here, I'll just kind of dot them in just to make sure I have them because. If you've followed me for the last couple of weeks, I have been starting to do things in a bullet journal way where I am kind of just taking it day by day, using whatever space I need. And then at night, I'll write my to-do list for the next day. And that's kind of just how I've been working with it. And I've actually really liked it. It's it's nice. I like only being able to, to use what I need, like on Friday, uh, which was Good Friday. I had a small to-do list and then that was it. This was my day. I only needed the small portion. It was great. Same thing for that Wednesday. Really didn't have that much going on. Just, it was a long day for me. But it's nice. Anyways. Oh, no. Alright, sorry about that. So anyways, I have Tuesday. I have tutoring after school again at 2.05. And then my other one's at 4.10. So it's just going to be a little bit later on that day. I don't have tutoring at 2.05, oh God. That's Wednesday. I have a conference at 2.05. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down for Wednesday. Um, and Wednesday will be at 2.05. I have a conference. That's what it was. I don't know why I thought it was another tutoring. So I'm gonna use these. These are from the Style Planner. So I'm gonna use that right here. And then once I get into my calendar at school um, tomorrow, I'll put the initial of the student just so it gives me a better idea of who I'm dealing with. Um, and then this tutoring is at 410. So I'm going to put it here. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. 
I have that. And then this one is just gonna be a fire drill note right at the top. So. Okay, so that's just a note for me. So I know that that's happening that week, okay? Oops, sorry guys. So let me go ahead and fill in some of these to-dos that I need. So at one point during the day on Tuesday, I need to book hotel for SGS. So if you are in the planner community and you know the SGS planner conference general ticket sales went on yesterday, the 8th, I snagged myself a ticket, which I'm super, super excited about. So that's in November and I cannot wait. I have to book the hotel for that. So I'm excited. Um, on Monday, so for work, what I need to do is I need to catch up on lesson plans. Um, and God, there was something else I needed to do and I just can't remember what it is. I can't remember. Um, Thursday, I know I need to buy donuts for my first period because I'm going to be having them for extended period of time. I do want to put in this this week sticker. So this is from that uh, one of those books. I think it's from the Plant Lady version. I think that's what it's called. So I'm just going to kind of put this here. And it's going to overlap a little bit, but that's fine. So this kind of gives me an area for um, not date specific tasks. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so then I have club pickup on Thursday and that's after, oh, that's at four. So I think I have a little box in this thing. So I don't want the round edges. Oh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about one of these books. But they have a lot of the round edges in that one. And I want a non-round edge. See? I don't know if I want that color. I'll use this one in this kind of purplish one. So that's at four. So I'm just going to kind of overlap four. Okay. Um, that's pretty much the week. So now all the fun stuff begins. I get to actually put down washi and all that stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of this on the bottom and kind of just do a little overlapping. Again, sorry about the shaking, guys. And then I'll just do like a small piece of this one. Because I don't usually use these parts, and if I need to, then I'll just remove the washi tape. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, and then let's see what kind of little pieces I can put in here for now. Oops. Mm, I love these little fern kind of pieces and the fact that they're like this black is really pretty. Um, 
see I love these because they're the transparent um, stickers so they work perfectly and like it doesn't it doesn't add too much but it adds just enough if that makes any kind of sense <laughs> And then I think I'll just add in this little bit, which is really pretty. And I'll kind of just tuck it in on the side over here. Oh, and it went in all nice and slanted. Now the only thing that sucks about these is they do not come up so easily. Always so afraid. It's always the last little corner piece that gets you. So let's try to put that down a little better without a bubble. That's a little better. All right, so I'm happy with that. So as the week goes on, I will fill in things. So as I did here, I kind of added some to-dos that I needed to. I added in some extras and some things that I did on those days. So it'll probably much turn out the same, but I really like this and you know, this part gives me space to add in a work to do if I need something to do during that that time frame. Um, if I think of it like the day before, like before I'm heading out. I'm just going to add in a little bit of color here. Just not very... Just whatever. that'll do. So that is what my week will look like as of last week. Um, as soon as today finishes up, then I will film a final clip of what the week looked like. So that's how my plan with me's are going to go. They're going to be my weekly setup. And then once the week has been completed, what it looks like as well as the daily parts. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my plan with me. And if you guys have any questions about where anything was from or questions about my new um, planning style, just go ahead and drop that down in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys and welcome back. So here's just the recap of how the week went. Sorry, it's going to be a little bit on, um, I don't have my tripod set up, so I'm just going to kind of do this freehand. Um, so this is how the week ended up. We did end up having to close school these two days because it rained this tremendous amount on Wednesday and so many of the roads were flooded. And then pretty much it's just some memory keeping on those pages. So then let's go ahead and look at the dailies. I just gotta flip to the right part. So these are where the dailies started. And so we have Monday and Tuesday and then Wednesday, I started my um, reset, which is, it's a diet reset. It's like a cleansing phase for Advocare, which it's just an amazing program. And I'll leave a link to that below if you guys want to check it out. I also had to kind of <laughs> tell where my lesson plans were. Don't tell anybody, but I literally hadn't done lesson plans since like first quarter. But anyways. So I had that and then I had my to-do list of things to do at school. School got closed, so that was kind of it. And my son started not really feeling well, but then he started to feel a little better on Friday. So he went back to school. The daycares were still open, but the actual schools were closed. And then Saturday and Sunday. So that was pretty much the week. Nothing really too crazy, but I'm really actually loving how these weekly layouts are. I thought they were gonna be too tiny here, but as you can see, it's pretty much the perfect amount of space that I need for my days. And I love the fact that I can kind of put a little bit of memory keeping parts here. And yeah, so that is how my week was. If you guys have any questions about where anything was from, 
just go ahead and throw that down in the comments below. Like I said, check out that AdvoCare link. It's an amazing program. I've been using it since my first daughter, um, my first child was born, my daughter. So I pretty much used it uh, postpartum and then I reused it again postpartum with the second baby. But yeah, go ahead and check that down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.